Turning now to the Target 12 investigators going beyond the headlines on a high profile announcement. We are joined live at four by Target 12 investigator Ted Nisi. So Ted, you uh, decided to look into a vote that happened last month by the State Investment Commission to sell off Russian assets held by the Rhode Island Pension Fund. Yeah, Brian, Kim, viewers might remember right after Russia invaded Ukraine, General Treasurer Seth Magaziner, who's also a Democratic candidate for Congress now, called an emergency vote of the state's investment commission to liquidate the Rhode Island Pension Fund's Russian assets. It wasn't a huge amount of money at stake, no more than $30 million in a multi-billion dollar fund, but Magaziner said the principle was important. So now that some time has gone by, you decided to see whether the state had actually followed through on that announcement, and it turns out those assets have not been sold. That's right, Kim. When I checked in, Magaziner's spokesperson told me because Russia has put restrictions on the sale of financial assets, the state hasn't been able to get out of those investments, although that shouldn't have been a surprise to them since the Russian stock market was already closed when Magaziner called for the vote. But the Treasury spokesperson went on to argue, quote, this is a sign that pressure from investors across the world, including Rhode Island, is succeeding in exacting a toll on the Russian economy. Still a bit more complexity to the situation than you might have thought from the news release issued last month. Just another example of why we're thankful that you stay on top of all these things <laughs> and track them. Um, all right, looking ahead, a significant new development now in the scandal involving former North Kingstown coach Aaron Thomas. Yeah, Brian, as we mentioned earlier in the newscast, the first civil lawsuit has been filed over allegations that Coach Thomas spent years meeting with student athletes behind closed doors, having them stripped naked, and and then performing so-called fat tests that left some of them uncomfortable. Target 12's Tim White spoke today with an attorney for the former student who is suing, and Tim asked why the litigation was filed against school officials rather than Thomas. The, the gravamen of this problem lies with administrators and supervisors and systems that are not doing what they need to do to protect against exactly this kind of behavior. And Tim will have a full story coming up at 5. All right, Target 12 investigator Ted Nisi, thanks so much for being here. Good to be here.